I think I just found an incredible hidden gem in Singapore. This place is called The Moon and it's a bookstore and also a cafe and also an incredible place where you can just meet new people and do fun stuff. And I don't know how to describe it in a way that justifies it, so I'm just going to show you. I feel like I'm in someone's house. This is where they have stuff like yoga, meditation, or even book club meetings sometimes. But if there's no events going on, you can just like curl up on the sofa with a book and the afternoon is yours. I also wanted to find out more about the story behind this bookshop, so I had a chat with Sarah, the owner of The Moon. We try to be as accessible as possible and so we have a communal library upstairs. So basically you bring a book that you want to exchange and you get to take one book back and you don't have to pay anything and I think it's awesome that they're doing this as well. Books are, can be expensive, not everybody can afford to buy a brand new book every time they want to read something. So we do get a ton of people who actually come in and who just sit upstairs and read something and then put it back and head off as well. And that's totally fine too. This space is meant for every individual to come and create their own experience. So if your experience of the moon is to come upstairs, hang out, read a book for a couple of hours in a quiet spot in the city, that's perfectly fine too. It's what you want to make of the space. You know, some people wander in and they're like, oh, I'm not like, I'm not smart. I'm like, I don't read books at all. And I'm just like, that is not true. I guarantee you, if you have a look at ourselves, you're going to find something that interests you. I mean, we have books about like surfing, makeup, like literally a history of the human heart. This is what reading should be about. It shouldn't be like a, a way to showcase intellectualism. It should be, um, yeah, like an activity for, for yourself, like of comfort. And this is kind of strange, but I actually really like the kids section here because it's so different from anything I've seen elsewhere. Um, because they have books about notable female figures like Malala. They have books about Muhammad Ali, refugees, all the topics that you normally wouldn't think that you would talk about to kids, but they're precisely the things that kids should know about. I grew up reading English classic children's books, Enid Blyton, Alfred Hitchcock and Nancy Drew and it wasn't until like I grew up and I reflected on that then you think about like well where were all the brown kids in all the books that I was reading growing up? When I was living in the UK I was a minority many times over. Coming back from there and being like newly armed with these understandings about like you know that I was a minority I was really really feeling it in that place and I wanted to translate those experiences to over here because I know here I'm very very much um, part of the majority community. So a little bit of what we're hoping to combat with this space is that you know young readers or even adult readers can come in and maybe see a little bit of themselves reflected in the books that we have. So yeah, that was the moon. I think it's such an awesome hidden gem and there's so much you can do here. You can just come and chill for a few hours and read, you know, like drink some coffee or even talk to the people here because the staff, everyone is so friendly. I know I'm coming back here and I think you should come visit too. And that was just my take. sofas and like a little bed in the corner also so you can just like chill wherever you want do whatever you want not do whatever you want you can read whatever you want <laughs>